In this video, we're going to learn how to transfer your chart of accounts from one file into a new file that you're starting. All right, so first things first, I'm going to go ahead and take a look at this chart of accounts and you can see has it all set up, my fixed assets, everything looks pretty good, the different loans, job expenses, and then of course the expense area is really important where I have just the general categories and subs underneath there. So I really like the way it's organized. Okay, so I want to use the same chart of accounts in a new file. The other thing that could be happening too is you might have a, you know, a franchise business that's splitting off or you might have a, a business that is going to be in a different city and you want to set up a different file or it could be that you actually are splitting your business into two and you want to be able to export this list so that both companies can have the same chart of accounts. All right, so how do I do this? So I go up to File, down to Utilities, Export, Lists to IIF Files. All right, you can see here there are a whole bunch of different lists that I can export to IIF File. When you're doing the major lists, the chart of accounts, customer, vendor, employee, item lists, and maybe in class lists too, the major lists, you wanna export each of them separately. That way you can play with them in Excel and make sure that the data can be customized and searched and sorted. So doing them each individually helps you to do that. So I'm going to do the chart of accounts. Okay, I'm going to save it to my desktop here, call it COA. Notice how it saves it in a .IAF format. All right, so it's been exported. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to open up Excel. You can't open an IIF format file, formatted file, just by double clicking on it. All right, you have to go into Excel and open it up. So let me go in here, I'm going to say open, and I'm going to choose from my desktop. And if I look here, I'm not seeing that file I just created. So instead of saying all Excel files, because remember we saved it in a .IIF format, I want to say all files, not just all Excel files. So I scroll down and there's my little chart of accounts file. Okay. Every time you open up an IIF file, you're going to get this little import wizard message. You can go ahead and click on finish. And here's all the information that gets sent over. Okay. So first things first, I'm going to delete these first two lines because it's not information that I need. I'm just going to focus on the chart of accounts here. So the first thing that I always do is I go through and make sure that there aren't any accounts that are specific to just this company. All right, the credit card accounts probably are specific to this company. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those. The long-term liability loans are probably specific just to this company. So I'm going to go ahead and delete those as well. I'll keep the long-term loans in there and then I'll be creating my own sub accounts under those. All right, shareholder, income, everything else looks pretty good. Okay, so then the other thing that I want to make sure to do is this opening balance amount. Obviously, these aren't going to be the same balances that I'm going to have in my new file, so I want to go ahead and go down and delete all of these. All right, it also has on the bottom down here the QuickBooks Online uh, so when you're connected to, to uh, your bank, to banking online, has that information here. And we don't want that to transfer over because, of course, we're going to have our own bank accounts there, too. All right. Tells you the different account types here. If it's a bank, AR, other current asset, O-C-A-S-S-E-T, fixed asset, other asset, just O-A-S-S-E-T, accounts payable, credit card, other current liability, long-term liability, equity, income, cost of goods sold, expense. Then all at the bottom we have some, uh, some other expenses. This is other income and other expense. And then we have our non-posting items. So knowing those is really important because if you need to add some additional accounts in here, you have to make sure that you choose the right type. Okay, 
save my account numbers, everything's okay. If I want to add anything additional, hidden, make sure everything is not hidden. If it says why, it's saying yes, it is hidden, which means it's inactive. So I don't want any of, any of my chart of accounts to be inactive for now. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this now. I've customized it enough, fixed everything I wanted to fix, and I'm gonna close out of it. I already saved it, so I'm gonna say no. Then what you do here, so I'm still in my old file that I exported this from, so I'm gonna go into my demo company file here. Enter in my password. Okay. So if we look at our chart of accounts in here, there's not much. There's only the standard accounts that, that QuickBooks creates for you um, based on if you have employees and if you do, do use sales tax. So there's not much on my list here. So I'm going to go ahead up to File, down to Utilities, go to Import, I have Files, all right, and it's already choosing my desktop. So I'm going to scroll down to my chart of accounts, click on that. Select open. It says your data has been imported. So I say okay. Then you can go check on your chart of accounts here. So look at all that data got moved in. Notice how the long-term loans, it didn't move those things we deleted underneath. Okay. Now at this point too, the other thing I can do is say I don't want to use this account. I can go ahead and delete this account. Delete this account. So I can customize it once it's in, in here as well. This just kind of gives you a template to begin with. So that is how you export your chart of accounts from one file into another.